What's going on guys? We're gonna target some Lakers, hopefully some big ones today. We had about a 200 yard walk, but in this beautiful serene setting behind me, as you can see, today's temperature is 42 degrees. We're gonna be targeting some lake trout in 40 to 60 feet. Wish us luck, stay tuned, and I really hope you guys enjoy the show. So we make our walk down, get the gloves on because it is a little cold. Nothing like river fishing, I'll tell you though. Let's start. We got about a three, four hundred yard walk to our spot. A nice walk, so this lake did not get as much snow as some of the others. That would be nice fishing. So the walk to the lake should be pretty easy. We made it to the lake. Uh, this is unreal. Wow, maybe, maybe four or five inches of snow not a bad walk at all gentlemen if you walk on the tracks it's easier all right guys let's get uh let's get up going here let's see what the ice is like i barely made it guys time to do my typical out horseshoe from here to the shallower water so i'm gonna take it from 50 here to 40 30 20 and you know eventually a little bit shallower and then maybe get some uh rainbows later on so let's get her done paul has got one that's what he's got i'm ready to swat okay look at folks beautiful we're moving around to our horseshoe better Okay, good, 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 good. Look at how dark that is. Oh, that's a beautiful dark fish. Oh, dude, there's about six fish on me right now. Got him. Got him. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Come on, baby, stay on. Nothing big, nothing big, but a uh, beautiful color, guys. Look how dark. Don't let him bounce that head. Oh, look how, right right in the nose, guys, right in the nose. Important to set that hook. What a beauty. Oh, got a fish on me, fellas. So I'm just finessing this slowly. And when I get these hits, they are very subtle. Just had a hit. Paul's got a fish on. Need help with it or is he? Paul's got one, I got a bite. Sure Just let it run if he has to. You're not sure what size he is. I think Paul's a decent fish guy. Got him. Yeah, guys, look at that. It was a nice one. <laughs> Guys, let's do a little bit of gear check. This is Max over here. We're uh, we're fishing with him. Thanks for uh, bringing us to the spot, Max. No problem, no problem, man. I'm marking right. a fish right now, but let me bring it up for you. Uh, we're in 49 feet. He's one of my cougar bait hair jigs. This is uh, the rainbow trout color. So you have replicates that rainbow that's in the lake here in Colorado, a lot of them. And what uh, ounce jig do you have? That is a three fourths ounce jig. Uh, it's actually a mustad add hook. That is a pretty sturdy hook. You're not gonna bend anything out on that. Uh, I got a new Boo, a Boo Garcia C4 6, uh, 6600. Jason Mitchell Elite Max Series rod, 36 inch medium heavy. This is 65 pound braid, the 20, 20 pound fluorocarbon vanish, sparkly vanish. You're not going to lose anything with this son, this son of a gun. What are you using, sir? I got tickle sticks, and I got fish all over me. He's got fish all over him. This is a Stratic over here. He's got a Stratic over there. Yeah, yeah Shimano. C14. What weight are these tickle sticks? Uh, they're the 34 or 36 inch. Right on. Ooh, baby. So what he's using here, let me show you guys, is a Panoptics. The unit here. And he's in about 40 feet of water. Good thing for this one, too. See him down there? Yeah. Let me show you what I'm using, you guys. Let's been nailing it, really. 
course, my Helix 5 there. Twister tail that's doing a job today. Uh, Fenwick rod, medium heavy, with my presidential Fuga reel. This is just kind of what I've been, been using today. I got four on me. One has to touch it at least, right? Are you seeing them on the Panoptics? Yeah. That's sweet, dude. Oh, there's a bunch down there without me even being there. I know. I know there is. <laughs> He's decent at best. Well, sure. Ed, why don't I get you a... Uh... All right. We're on. They're on us already. There's three fish on us. One is about to take. Just had a hit. You did? Quit missing fish, Paul. I'm just wiggling, 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 dropping. Wiggling, 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 dropping. Wiggling, wiggling, dropping. And then eventually he'll hit it. He can't deny that action. We're gonna do a bit of a horseshoe. Check out area's depth. It's about 11 o'clock, so we're gonna fish for a couple more hours. Very sunny. Some pools are gonna have to come off because it is warm. Last of the hole. <laughs> I missed about 18 bites here. Beautiful fish, guys. Beautiful. There's a fish coming on us. Paul, I kid you not. There's probably, oh, I don't know, seven, eight fish here that come right away. I mean, just have a look at that. Just look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I had a good one on, Paul. Ah, he had a really good fish on, guys. He's still down there, too. Good one. Let it run, I will help you land this. Are you snagged? It almost feels like I am, but a fish is coming up, dude. Get him, get him, get him, sweat him out. Get him. There's nothing wrong with that fish, dude. Oh, bud. Look at how dark these ones are up here. All right, guys, we're doing a little bit of a midday update. Uh, Paul, how's it going with there, man? How, how many have you gotten? He's got six, I think I got about four. They're really hitting random stuff. Uh, he's catching them on this little uh, glowing jig head. What's the body type on that? It's a wedgie, called a jumbo wedgie. A jumbo wedgie with a jig head, and I'm catching mine on a twisted tail in orange with an orange jig head tipped with sucker meat, so is his. So we're gonna get back to it and see if we can catch more. Take it easy. A little bit of a jig jig drop. A little bit of a jig jig drop. Just consistent one, consistent one. Consistent one jig, consistent one jig. Now just a tip, just a tip, just a tip, just a tip. Now aggressively, let it just drop and hopefully they'll take it on to drop. Aggressively, let it just drop and hopefully they get the drop. And just leave it, leave it. Same spot, same spot, same spot. I don't think you can do to entice it. Very eat your patterns. Please don't get stuck on the translucer, you're a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that fish, look how strong they are. Oh my god. Oh my god. Average size bigger than the I got you, Paul. Does you feel heavy or light? Oh yeah, that is a beautiful dark fish. There's about 15 feet off the bottom. Ooh, he bit me. All right, 
That is a beaut. Yeah. This is totally black. Caught any more? Oh yeah, I've caught I think three more and he caught four. And they were dark fish, man. Very dark. Didn't catch anything. See? There you go. He's caught the, every fish on the same damn thing. Better feeling? I see bubbles. Don't get him caught on that ice. I see him. Long. He's just long. You find the screen to be big enough, huh? Yeah, I don't think I, my, my previous one was half the screen. You got a Helix 5? No. No, but I'm gonna get one. Thinking about it. I think. Can you pull the transistor pole? Yes. Oh, he's almost there, he's small, he's small. Last one there. All right, guys, that is it for today. We ended up with about 25 to 30 fish between me and Paul. It's getting a little bit windy and a little bit cold, so we're gonna go home for the day. I hope you guys enjoy some of these tactics we are sharing with you and you guys can get out and catch some Lakers. What a beautiful background behind me. I had an amazing time. You guys enjoy this episode and we'll see you guys next time.